Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on differences between combinational circuits and sequential circuits. It is one of the most important question that can be asked in external examinations and also in some competitive examinations. Now we have to discuss about some of the differences between combinational circuits and sequential circuits. The combinational circuit mainly consists of logic gates whose output at any instant of time depends only on the present inputs not on the previous input, not on the previous output of the state. Okay, mainly it depends on the only present combination of input. While in the case of sequential circuits, sequential circuits consists of logic gates whose output at any instant of time depends only on the present input and present state of the system. Okay. So now consider this diagram. This is a combinational circuit. This combinational circuit can take n number of inputs and produces n number of outputs. The output of the combinational circuit depends only on the present input, not on the previous input, not on the previous output of the state. While in the case of sequential circuit, okay, the output at any instant of time depends only on the present input and the present state of the memory element okay now what is the output that we are produced by this sequential circuit depends on present combination of inputs and present state of the memory elements okay so this output depends on both the pre present input and the present state of the memory element but in the case of combinational circuit, the output at any instant of time depends only on the present combination of inputs. That is the main difference between combinational circuit and sequential circuit. Next, the combinational circuit does not require any feedback. Okay. While considering this diagram, there is no feedback is there. Okay. But in the case of sequential circuit, okay, there is a feedback is there for its functioning. Okay. We have to use this feedback for its function, but here the combinational circuit does not require any feedback, but sequential circuit requires feedback for its functioning. Next, third difference, the combinational circuit does not require any potential to store the data. Okay, here there is no memory element is there. Okay, the, then the combinational circuit does not require any potential to store the data because the combinational circuit, in the combinational circuit, the output depends only on the present input, not on the previous input. Okay, suppose if it is depends on the previous input, we must require the we must require the storage of inputs. But the combinational circuit only depends on the the output depends only on the present inputs, not on the previous input and not on the previous out previous output of the state so because of that reason 
the combinational circuit does not require any potential to store the data. But in the case of sequential circuit, sequential circuit can store a small amount of data. Here, while considering this is the sequential circuit, this sequential circuit can store small amount of data. So the sequential circuit can store this data in this memory element. In this memory element, what we are storing, that is previous state of the memory element. So pre, uh, present state of the memory element. So what is the state of the memory element? So state means, so what is its value? Either zero value or one value. So that present state of the memory element is stored in this feedback. Okay, so because of that reason, okay, sequential circuits can store a small amount of data. Next, combinational circuits mainly used in adders, decoders, multiplexers, encoders. Sequential circuits are mainly used in flip-flops, latches and registers. Okay. Combinational circuits are mainly used in so decoders, multiplexers, encoders, adders, subtractors. But com sequential circuits are mainly used in resistors, latches, and flip-flops. Okay. The combinational circuit does not require any feedback. But sequential, require, sequential circuits require feedback for its functioning. Combinational circuit does not require does not require any potential to store the data. But in the case of sequential circuits, can store the small amount of data. Next one, the combinational circuit does not contain any memory element because it does not depends on the previous input and the previous output of the memory element. So because of that reason, the combinational circuit does not require any memory element. But in the case of sequential circuit, the sequential circuit requires the memory element to store the previous state of the system. Next one, in the combinational circuit, there is no usage of clock. So that means the clocks are not used in combinational circuit. But in the case of sequential circuit, the the clock is used in sequential circuit for triggering the flip flop. So, for triggering the flip flop, we have to use one clock. That clock is used in sequential circuit, but there is no triggering of the flip flop in the case of combinational circuit because of that reason, there is no clock used in combinational circuits. Next one, as there is no clock used in sequential uh, combinational circuit, so flip-flop triggering is not there in combinational circuit. So here in the case of sequential circuits, okay, there is a triggering of the flip-flop. So because, because a clock is used in sequential circuit, so, because of the reason, triggering of the flip-flop is there. But in the case of combinational circuit, there is no clock used in combinational circuit. So, because of the reason, there is no triggering of the flip-flop in combinational circuits. Next one, the combinational circuit does not have the capability to store the data. Okay. Here in this combinational circuit, there is no memory element is there. So because of that reason, there is no need to, there is no need to 
store the state of the system okay but in the case of sequential circuit okay the sequential circuit is capable of storing the uh, previous state of the memory element so because of that reason so previous state of the memory element is stored in memory element so because because the output at any instant of time depends only on the current inputs and previous state okay so because of the reason sequential circuits are capable of storing the data that determines the previous state of the system okay so next the combinational circuit does not have the capability to store the data inside them okay there is no need to store the data because the output at any instant of time depends only on the present data there is no need to store the data inside the combinational circuits but in the case of sequential circuits sequential circuit is capable of retain the previous state of the system because previous state of the system based on the present input and previous output previous state of the memory element so because of the present input and previous state of the memory element the sequential circuit is capable of retaining the previous state of the system or say because of the reason there is no there is the use of memory element to store the to retain the previous state of the system by considering the present input and the previous output of the system so these are the differences between uh, combinational logic circuits and sequential logic circuits and now what are the examples for combinational logic circuits adders subtractors decoders multiplexers encoders demultiplexers are the examples of combinational circuits the examples for sequential circuits are counters shift registers flip flops latches so these are the examples for sequential logic circuits okay so this is the description about the differences between combinational circuits and sequential circuits so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel in dibela srinivasa rao dibela d i b b e l a s r i n a n a b a s a r a o so dibela srinivasa rao so thank you